everybody. Welcome back to Anderson's TV. Oh. As you can see, uh, we have transported ourselves <laughs> via the power of a, a banner that's not big enough. Uh, to a temporary location whilst we are having our normal video studio uh, refurbished. Yeah. Um, embellished. Embellished, people might say. And today <laughs> we're here to talk to you about the new Fender Player Plus series guitars. Oh! Um, we had a lot of fun yesterday shooting some incredible sounding guitars with Pete in our main, uh, the, the, the new warehouse. That couldn't stop just laughing. Acquired. I just couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. Um, and uh, now we're just going to basically tell you uh, what, what these are all about. Yeah, man. Um, so if you're familiar with uh, Fender's range a little bit, uh, you'll know in the American series, you've got the American Professional series, mm. Professional 2 now. Um, which is, I guess, like a, a modern equivalent of, but a, a relatively original sort of standard yeah, strat. Yeah. And then you've got Ultra Series, which has got all the bells and whistles and the innovation that Fender have come up with for 2021. Modern uh, things. If we get into Mexican Series, uh, Player Series, which has been out now for three or four years, is designed to sort of give you that kind of American professional vibe, but a more affordable price. Yeah. And oh, new Player Plus is designed to give you a guitar that's a little bit more like the Ultra Series, but an affordable price. In some super colours. Great colours. Just, we'll come to that, but oh, we like the colours. Four guitars, or yep. four models, I apologise. Um, this is the standard three single coil Player Plus Strat in uh, various colours, which you'll see on screen now. And this is the HS. HSS version, uh, again in various colours, which also you will see on screen now. Noiseless pickups, Lee! Well, we'll get to we that get to that. Um, we have a replacement for the Deluxe Nashville Tele. I should tell you at this time, all the Fender Deluxe models, so Lone Star, Roadhouse and uh, Nashville, Roadhouse. are um, <laughs> being phased out. Uh, so yeah, we've got a three pickup Nashville oh. Player Plus Tele, again in some rather lovely colours. Yeah, on one of my favourite guitars of all time, that one. Uh, and just a standard, uh, ye old fashioned standard Telecaster, also in some fancy colours. So, uh, but anyway, so, what, you know, so we hear, uh, you know, I did some playing, as Lee said, so you'll probably hear that we spread that yes. out in, in between these videos, uh, in, the, in, the, in between these videos, in this you video. Let's have a little listen now little listen. to what this guitar sounds like. Do it. Hopefully that bit of playing has wet your appetite, certainly <laughs> wet mine. Um, let's talk about some of the features that you're going to get on Player Plus that you don't get on Player. Uh, and by the way, we've uh, written a handy blog which you can find on our website with a link in the description below uh, that goes into uh, in more detail about what the differences are between Player and Player Plus. And whoever wrote that blog, if they were here right now, they would ask you to like and subscribe. They certainly would. Right, so let's go top to bottom, talk about some of the differences. Locking tuners, you're going to get that on all four of these uh, Player Plus guitars. Oh, yeah. The neck has a slightly different carve. It is marginally wider than the standard Player series. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. It has a slightly flatter radius, so 12 inch radius. Oh, Here's yeah. the thing, first time ever for uh, on a Mexican Fender guitar, they have rolled the edges to the same spec as they do on the American series. I tell you, it feels delicious. It does. It just feels... It's Super nice. Anyway, carry on. I guess what's going to be most noticeable uh, is we have noiseless pickups now on here. Mm -hmm. Noiseless, if you're not familiar with that, um, 
removes that 60 cycle hum that you can hear on a single coil pickup when you're in position sort of one, three or five. Yeah. But that is particularly annoying, I think, if you've got gain and you're trying to get a real clean recorded guitar sound. But oh, you're gigging and there's just lights and everything in the same loop, yes. in the same power thing, and it's just going, Ugh, and it's noisy anyway. So we've got noisier pickups. That's potentially one of the more divisive um, uh, features because yeah, some people, like some people just prefer the sound of Marmite. non-noiseless. Marmite. Um, on the trim, the player series has like a, a rolled steel um, saddle, whereas obviously on player plus we've got the blue the, steel, the, the big yeah, the blue <laughs> steel saddles. No, the, the the actual steel block style saddles. We're on the home straight now in terms of extra features. So we have a, a switch. They, the, um, it's actually a little tricky to do that if you've got slightly sweaty fingers, which I do have today. It's hot. Um, the tone control pops out and uh, gives you some slightly different switching options on each guitar. We'll talk about that in a minute. On the um, Nashville Tele and this Strat, it enables me to get some of those positions where I can be on the bridge uh, position and I want the neck as well, so yeah. I can get that too. Same on the Nashville. Does something different on those two we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and lastly, I, pff, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything, you get a gig bag with Player Plus, which you mm. don't get with Player. So You mentioned the satin finish neck. It's lovely satin finish neck. Well, I think that's the same on Player. Oh, is it? Um, you Player. You Player. <laughs> you are a Player. So there you we go. Um, I don't know that there's going to be any playing in this room. They're, I feel well, like... I do. We should do some... Because I, some of the tones we did yesterday was... Uh, I'm going to do tones. And the reason okay. I'm going to do tones is because, as we have been doing more recently, I'm that's coming good. with the slightly more affordable backline. So I've got a Boss Katana 50 and a little pedal board with like a, a Plethora X5 and a, a Zeus and an ODR1. So my whole backline rig is probably... Less than a guitar. Know, yeah, it probably is. Mm -hmm. So let's have a little listen to some of those tones. Do it. This is completely clean. We go. I'm not using, I'm just using the amp now, completely clean. Nice sound, pretty popular mod on uh, things like custom the, shop guitars yeah. where you get the bridge and the, and the neck together. Yeah. A little bit of overdrive from uh, the TC Zeus, which Zeus. is brand new uh, and is a uh, brilliant little uh, clone, uh, clone, clone even for 50 quid or something. Yeah. So. Sounds great. So that is Player Plus. Great color. Uh, I love the color. Congratulations to Fender for just trying to be a bit different. Yeah. Um, I like that a lot. Um, I can see actually as well on the back of these, we're in Fender's 75th anniversary year in 2021. Yeah. So I think most guitars that are made this year will have that little motif on the back, which is kind of cute. Motif. Um, shall we move on, Pete? Let's do it. I would like to hear you now playing this guitar in an enormous warehouse what? using a beautiful 100 watt valve amplifier. Let's do it. Um, so you can see this pickup here, it's called a Player Plus Humbugger, but it looks a bit like the uh, Tele Deluxe one. So 
I don't know if that was a con, if something, whatever. Like Rod the wide range humbucker. Yeah, it's like, like cool. yeah, exactly. It sounds, it's, here you go, if I turn it up, it helps. I mean, that's clean. <laughs> I, am, I am running it on low. Uh, I splitted it. Is that a splitted it or you when split I splat it. it? You splat it, yes. Is the that, past a, is that a split? <laughs> it's a is, coiled splat. <laughs> That's a good one. So. I mean, it's, it's a handy thing to have on a guitar. Of um, as I played this with gain already, you heard, I think we should just have a listen to what this telecaster sounds like in that massive big room down there. Well, Lee, that was very delicious, wasn't it? I did like that. It, it was uh, delicious. You and a Telecaster um, is a marriage made in heaven. It's it works somehow, it works somehow, and that's why I like that, but we'll get that to the minute. Before we do anything else, just check this logo out. All it's, right? a, it's a cute detail, isn't it? It is. It's super cute detail. It's like um, the silver, like they do on the Ultra. That's right. So like the premium American Fender stuff has this sort of embossed silver logo that they lacquer over, mm. as opposed to the old sort of fashion spaghetti style transfer. Really nice. Yeah, I it's like very it. delicious. Uh, again, this is a maple neck thing. Um, you get a belly cut on this. Um, at the moment, it's good for me. So uh, <laughs> it works well. And you've got the locking tuners. And then you've got on this one, you got the pull, easier to pull. There's a bit more to get yeah. hold of, isn't there? Yeah. On a Telecaster knob. Yes. Uh, that gives you a serious parallel thing, uh, sort of like a humbucking version when you're in the middle. Can pull. we hear that? Yes, can we can. hear the three types of, or four types of sound in Yeah, fact. so uh, you can hear the neck pickup, if I turn it up. I should say, we are, in, we, are, we are having to be incredibly quiet today because we've got new neighbours next door. Hello, neighbours! Um, and uh, the partition wall between this office and theirs is, is not terribly soundproof. It's so, like a uh, string. We are using uh, the Boss Katana in its uh, 0.5 watt mode and we are using the Victory 100 watt uh, <laughs> on pretty much as low as it will go. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, so here's the G chord we're talking about. Here's the middle position. Let's hear that. So that's normal wiring for a telly. Yeah. yeah. And this is where the clever thing happens. And I think so it's a cool... Really massive it's, difference. It's, it's a massive difference. It's, it's probably the one wiring mod that I would say to everyone with a Telecaster that you should do. Yeah, this should definitely because uh, it's like there's no, it, it's, and it's super easy to do. I think essentially what's happening is is you're simply switching between whether these uh, pickups are wired in parallel or series, and if that doesn't mean anything to you, and to be fair, it doesn't mean a lot to me. It just means you're what you're doing is making it sound like you're kind of like you're out of phasey kind of sounds on a on a on a guitar versus making it sound like a humbucker. Yeah, you know, and that's. Basically, in layman's term, what's it doing? So, especially really, for gain, really so if yeah. you just have a slightly bit of gain from the Dane. 
that's without, and then pulling the switch. It's, it's not just massive. an output thing, it's no. like the whole tone changes, like it yeah. would if you had a, a humbucker. Exactly. I, I, do you know what, if we're really, really clever, we ought to be able to put a description, uh, some, a link in the description to where you could maybe buy a, a, a pot and find out more about how to do that. Yeah, kind I, don't, of I don't think it's a. Uh, I think most uh, modern pickups now. I mean, even even the uh, the uh, the DP fifty one set. It comes with an extra wire where you can do all oh, that yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, you need you extra wires, it, don't you? No, yeah, well, but it comes out of the anyway. Okay, well, maybe well, don't try yeah, and do it yourself unless you know what you're doing. But take it to take your telly to a guitar tech and yeah, say, please, is yeah. it possible to it, add the series parallel switch? Yeah, here? It's a great be, mod. Anyway, but sorry. anyway, so that that's that's essentially that. I mean, against the noiseless pickups, uh, against the rolled fingerboard, the locking tuners, uh, delicious colours. I like this coat of copper colour. I think color. that's really cool. Player Plus here. Yeah. I mean, it just feels so good. It's good guitar. Um, right, yeah. should we do this one next? Yes, we shall. Should we have a listen? Yes. Let's do it. Just yes. spoiling us with your sexual riffs and extra <laughs> reverb. I tell um, you what, like, these these Nashville guitars are awesome. Why why is this referred to as a Nashville? I know that its predecessor was, but it's just is that because that's I mean, a Nashville thing to have three pickups? Yeah, in I think that's just what it is. That they isn't that isn't that Brad Ma Ma Mason that puts he's got the Brent Brad Brent, Brad Paisley and Brad, Brent, Mason. Brent Mason. They've had a child. It's called Brent Paisley. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the guy. So he's got his. Um, He's got a signature guitar, uh, Brent, with the pickup in the middle, and I think that is just a thing that a Nashville they do thing. because it's a single coil. You know, so, so. Um, what happens now on the Nashville? Got all the same stuff that you've got on on the uh, copper one there, mm -hmm. so the belly cut and the you know we've talked about neck curves. I don't know why the flatter fretboard radius feels more pronounced on this Nashville than it did on the Strat. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Um, I love the the 12 inch um, radius is. It's not flat enough that all of a sudden it feels like an Ibanez and you're going, oh gosh, I'm not sure. No, it's just in the middle. It's just that if you, you know, I think anybody that's got a, a normal strap with like a nine and a half inch radius, that they'll just, they'll probably won't even massively notice that there's anything going on other than maybe the action can go a little bit lower. But that, yeah. it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good radius. Yeah. Anyway, let, let's have a little listen. So we've got five positions now in a one night stand. <laughs> I don't know what I'm playing. It just sounds like a, like a hardtail strat, doesn't it? Really? That's where the difference is, because of course the bridge pickup on a Telecaster is very different to the bridge pickup on mm -hmm. a Strat, yep. uh, and so it's a much ballsier. <laughs> Even on half a watt mode on a Katana, <laughs> it's got balls. <laughs> God, that's like too much gain. In fact, as we're doing Nashville, I'm going full Nashville with yeah, my really ODR1. Are. Is 
Uh, I'll Let's take the distortion it. off. So switch comes out and all of a sudden the neck pickup is introduced. Actually, like the, the same thing happens here as well, by the way, and as it does on the Strat, I just didn't demonstrate it. So now I've got these two pickups engaged. Now I've got all three. Which doesn't sound that different, to be fair. Yeah, it sounds different um, enough. Uh, that's, that's my favorite, man. Absolutely. That's so interesting. Because it's, it's like, I love the Telecaster in its, in its simplicity, because it's a piece of wood with a piece of wood with some bits on it. And it's super simple. Um, you have to, it, it does a certain thing, and you can do a lot with it. But that's just, you can just do a lot of stuff, but a, more stuff. Does that well, make sense? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really, really, going to surprise a few, really few people, like I think, here with which one my favorite is. Because it's that one. Wow. It's, I like the color. I like the nickel covered or chrome covered, whatever it is, back humbucker. Yeah. This, for me, particularly in this color, is kind of a favorite because I totally see Eric Clapton during the sort of, maybe more the 90s, I think, than the 80s. But I see, yeah. I'm pretty sure. He played something that looked exactly like yeah, this. I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure when he started doing those kind of crossroads type gigs or when he was doing like those super group things where he'd be on stage and Mark Knopfler would be yeah, on and stage. Yeah, and Sting Sting was on there or something when he played a guitar. Well, that was a lot, lot later, but Ed yeah. Sheeran played one of these, but with yeah. Beyonce. I think there's a video so, like that. You but yes, that. I think fair play to Fender. You've done some amazing colours. Yeah, for the uh, money, uh, it's I'm, difficult I'm, to beat. Yeah, I mean, crazy, crazy. Uh, you know, the, the, yeah. Again, I, I appreciate that for the last, you know, what what is it now since 1951 or whatever? You know, we're talking 70 odd years. Yeah. Um, Fender have managed to somehow reinvent the Strat and the Telecaster <laughs> every year to make us excited about it yeah. without really moving too far away. Yeah. Uh, so that in itself is quite a feat. But yes, I go. like it a lot. Um, so these are available to order now. Um, links are in the description below. Um, Price-wise, I'll leave that to you because it's always, you know, some of these things go up and down. But they're, they're well under a thousand pounds. I think there's something like 800 quid. But Dive on over to the, the website, check them out. Um, there we are, what can I say? Thank I you very to, much, I need Pete. to try it, thanks Lee. I want to try that uh, Bre Brett Mason. If guitar. only you'd had um, all day yesterday to play this guitar in an enormous warehouse with extra reverb. Yeah. Maybe if we I should finish like that. Yeah, maybe we should finish that. <laughs> right, anyway. see you guys later. Bye.